All right, this one's going to be on GNU Still. It is a, what is it here? Software Package Installer Manager. However, we're not going to use it for that purpose, but let me explain you what it was used for, okay? Uh, back in the days, or I think still people still use it, is that they compile packages manually uh, to their home folder. One reason for that is that they want to keep, uh, you know, um, a stable version or they want to try out different versions or whatever um, so they keep it in their home folder safe from their package manager so even if you do like an update or whatever it's not going to affect stuff in your home folder so that's what they use that for and what they'll do with Stow is that they'll, they'll link those uh, packages to their root folder and they can use it globally so um, that's what they use it for but we're not going to use it for that purpose we're just going to use it for our dot configuration files that we want to save and let's say you uh, set up a new account or yeah a new user or whatever you want to link everything you know you want to deploy it real quick this is what uh, you can do okay so first things first you want to save all your um, configuration files into different folders I would say this is how I set it up here so let's say for example my apps here this is like my binary stuff that I compile or packages that I download or scripts that I have. Um, you can do this for different uh, distributions too, like let's say Arch Linux and Debian. Some packages are not compatible, like the configuration file is not compatible, so you want to separate those out. Uh, like the common ones here, this one works with any distribution because, you know, same program and all that. Um, like for example, you have your VimRC, um, was it W3M and stuff like that right those one it works on any distributions and as far as my private one here this is like you know you have files or I mean configuration files that has your password in plain text and you don't want to share those in public or whatever like let's say your mud your email stuff like that your last FM your purple here purple is for pigeon finch and center I am um, instant messenger you know that you add your account in and those are all in plain text anyways separate all those shits out right and then after that when you stole to symlink everything now why should you use stow over regular ln command for symlinking uh, stow does it better and I'll show you why so over here we have an empty folder usually I will symlink it to my home folder but I already used that so I'm going to use uh, this remote folder for our example here so we have our, um, you know, your dot files here that I just show you, and what you do is you stow dash v for what they call it verbose. I just remember it as a visual, and uh, dash t for target folder. So the target folder we want to send it to is usually we go to your home folder, which is Swiggy Line, but for this uh, purpose, we're gonna use our remote folder here. And which folder do you want to sim link? So we want to sim link our common folder, you know, and any of these other folders that uh, I have in here. So common, uh, let's say I do my private folder also. Let's say my themes folder also, right? So I do all that at one time and you hit enter. You can see that it sim links everything. Uh, nice and neat for you. Uh, even gives you, you know, what they sim link, right? So that's a, a good way to, to manage all that. Now, most people say, yeah, you can do that with LN and all that too, but uh, the good thing with this one is that, let's say you ever want to delete all that sucker at one time, because deleting sim links, you know, it takes time too, right? Uh, all you do is dash, uh, add a dash capital D, right? And you can see that it will delete everything, you know, or they call it unlinking, right? Unlinking. Um, Another good thing about this is that, let's say for example, uh, let's say we just do one folder here. Just this themes folder here. Was it themes? Yeah, it's called the themes, okay. With the S, okay, themes. So let's say we link the themes here, right? And let's say in a later date, let's say you add a new, you know, configuration files into here. Um, we'll call this one test dot test whatever create and if you want to sim link it 
All you gotta do is do a dash capital R, and this will sim link it only. I mean, re sim link it, uh, the missing ones. You see? And you see that uh, we'll add the test folder here. So that's how you re sim link something. Instead of like doing delete and then, um, you know, linking it again, you can use the dash capital R for that purpose. Kind of like doing an update of your file. So that's another one. Um, anything else? Oh yeah, let's let's delete that one here. Let's see here, themes. We'll do a delete here. Dash D. Another good thing about using this is that if you already have an existing file, it's gonna abort. So you know it's not gonna overwrite it, and it's not gonna create sim links in a subdirectory of that. Because sometimes when you're using ln command, and if the the folder already exists or something like that. Uh, it will create it into the subdirectory of that, which, what you know, not not everyone wants to do that. So I'm giving you an example of what it does uh, when it sees an existing file. It will actually abort. Okay. So in here, in my comment folder, I have a dot vimrc already that already exists. So let's say if I create a um, a vimrc here, dot vimrc, create, and let's say in here we write something. Blah blah blah, and then we'll save it, and then we'll quit it, right? Now, if we try to sim link, uh, what was that? The V dash T, and then we'll do moat, and this one was in our common folder. So if you try to do this, it'll actually try to sim link everything else, right? But once it figures out that hey, you already have this vimrc. Uh, that exists, then it's gonna abort the operation because um, you know it warns you you might overwrite it or you might not want to sim link it uh, into a subdirectory or whatever, and that's why it's gonna warn you and abort the operation. So that's a good thing for that because uh, if you're doing that the regular ln command and if there's already an existing folder, usually what it does is create a sim link in that subfolder. Which is really fucking annoying. So that's why I don't like the ln command for uh, sim linking. Um, so this one's good. Now if you delete that sucker, right, and do this, it works. You know, no issues here. So let's delete this again. Uh, so that's about it for that. Another annoying thing for me is that when I'm setting up a new user, let's go back here to... And this one here. So this uh, this is my external partition. It's called Genji2 here. But you can see that um, if you have like an external drives or whatever, you see it has a dot trash folder dot trash 1000 and this lost and found crap. And I don't want to sim link those. I just want to sim link these four folders. So how do you do this here? Uh, this is where you can use either ignore. Well, you didn't have to use ignore. Okay. So you can do it manually, ignoring it. Uh, for example, let's go back one folder here. And you can do stow dash vt, and we're gonna put down your uh, remote, and you wanna sim link this Genjutsu folder. And you can do a dash dash ignore. Um, let's say we ignore just two folders this time. So we we'll do trash, and do another one, ignore. Trash 1000, right? So, whatever folders you want to ignore, you can just add more ignore folders or whatever. Or, I mean, ignore commands. Uh, and then you hit enter. Oh no, I forgot. I'm missing uh, quotes in here. There you go. And you see that it ignored the other two folders, the trash ones. But it still has this uh, lost and found crap here. And you actually can add that too if you want. But um, this is the command I got from the Perl forum. Oh, not the forum, the IRC. And using regular expressions. So I'll show you that in a minute here. But let's delete this thing first. And let's do that again. Capital D. So we'll unlink it. And this is the command that I would use. Um, 
when I'm sim linking this. So we do the same thing, stall, VT, you know, remote, and our Genjutsu here. And then we use the ignore, and this is the regular expression to ignore, um, what is that, dot files and plus signs in the folders. So you hit enter, and now you see that it only creates the four folders that I want. So anyways, that's how you use the rig expression, which I didn't figure it out. Someone had told me about this one. Uh, hopefully you understand what Stow is now, but um, if you like to use it for dot configurations, I say it's a good thing. And the good thing about using separating your dot files is that you can share the other ones that you know it's not doesn't have any sensitive data. So let's say for example, if I want to put this all in GitHub, I'll just uh, you know push it all into my GitHub and share it to everyone. But as far as my private files, I'll just keep that to myself because it has my password and stuff and I don't want to share those. So that's how I handle deploying and, you know, removing all sim links um, real quick using Stoll here. So Stoll should be in your package manager, any distributions, okay? So just install Stoll and you're good to go. Hopefully you know how to use it now and take advantage of it if you have a lot of configuration files you want to link. That'd be for this one.